Ciao a tutta la mia famiglia di Facebook and welcome back to Casa Fiore's Cucina, otherwise known as Cafe Fifi. It's a marathon and not a sprint. That's how the old saying goes. And as many of you know, I'm a marathon runner. And though it's been many years since my last marathon, the lessons that I learn in marathon running stick with me on a daily basis. It's a marathon that we're in right now. So pace yourself and know that there is a finish line. We're going to get there. We'll get through. And it's hard to see this in the middle of a marathon, but good things come from a good old-fashioned endurance race. What are the strategies for making it through? Well, firstly, remember, don't start out too fast. Pace yourself. Secondly, as my Uncle Bob told me on my first marathon in 1988, the marathon does not begin until mile 20. We got a ways to go. Thirdly, keep your mind occupied. So today, what I'm going to try to do for you is give you some ways to keep your mind occupied in the kitchen. Because if you do, good things will come from this endurance race. I've got several little things to show you today that I hope you can work on during our marathon. Many of my favorite long distance projects as a chef, as a baker, as a gardener, as an eater, start right out here in the garden. For instance, these fava beans were planted in March for my beautiful June and July meals with this delicacy, fava beans, fava a vedura is a dish that comes from the land of my ancestors in Puglia. It's a dish I plant, it's a plant I plant to honor my grandfather, Pop, who loved them so, and who, that I plant now for my father, Fiore. And I like to tell people around Thanksgiving, you see that pumpkin pie? I started baking it for you in April, in April. Find a spot for, to plant something. Even if you don't have a spot or you don't think you have the time, Buy one tomato plant. Buy a beautiful one. Call me up. I've got great recommendations. You will not be disappointed. Plant one. Watch it grow long term and wait till you enjoy the fruits of your labor. Now, after you've planted your herb garden, a couple of veggies, and at least one tomato plant, and remember, message me. I got plenty of ideas for you. Then it's time to come into the kitchen and dig into some other projects to keep your mind occupied during this long distance run. A couple of ideas for you, okay? First of all, home liqueurs. We've talked about limoncello. This is crema di limoncello. And I think I've included that recipe for you before. Always be feel free to ask any questions. Um, we've got a mulberry liqueur made from my old mulberry tree that's no longer with us. We've got wild Vashon Island blackberry. We've got Nocino walnut liqueur, and one of my favorites, Anisette, gathered from fennel seeds in my yard. You get the idea, and I'm gonna take a sip. Mm. The Anisette is so good. You get the idea. There's lots of ways you can keep yourself occupied with different flavors and herbs and fruits. Another thing to consider doing is something I need to do right now. That is, make another batch of Olio Santo. Olio Santo is a pepper oil that is so awesome to dress on a pizza or maybe a piece of fish or pasta. Once you have it, you'll find a use for it. So I've used my dried serrano peppers from the summer, but as you can see, I'm almost out. So I've got some store-bought dried hot peppers I'm gonna fill this up with this quarter cup or so of crushed hot red peppers. These happen to be arbol, but you could use serrano or whatever heat level you like. And I'm gonna fill this up about halfway, which will be about a cup. So about a quarter cup of dried peppers to about a cup of olive oil. I'll let it sit for a week or so, test it out, see if I like it. If it's too hot, I'll add a little more oil and it will be great again on my pizzas, on eggs, on fish, etc. Moving right along, we're coming to one of the granddaddies of long-term 
projects, and that is Lupini beans, a veritable legend in my family, made famous by my grandfather, Pop. And the tor torchbearer for this these days is my Aunt Gloria, and she's coached me through these the last few years. I made these at the very beginning of this marathon, and I'm running low. So today we're gonna walk you through how to make that. This is how they are in their dry form. I picked some up today from PFI, and I've been soaking about a pound in this bowl here, and it's kind of difficult to see. I've been soaking them for about a day, and now we're gonna boil them, and then we're gonna test them out. So, let's go. Again, we've got about a pound of dry lupini beans soaked overnight. We have them at a low boil now, and they'll boil for about an hour. We'll let them cool, and then we're on to our next step. We've let them boil, we've let them cool, and we've turned them to this vessel. And they'll go into the refrigerator, and they'll, we'll change the water two, three times a day. By nature, lupini beans have some bitterness. And so over time, over seven days, 10 days, 14 days, you'll just have to test it out. They'll, all the bitterness will go away. And once that bitterness is gone, you're gonna add two to three tablespoons of salt. It depends on what your taste is. If they get too salty, you can always extract the salt by adding in more water. And then at that point, they'll be ready for eating. And I know you're wondering, what the heck are lupini beans anyway? Lupini beans, let me tell you, they're part snack, they're part pastime. You can munch on them, and you can even shoot them at your drinking buddy. Lupini beans are beer's best friend. And once you start on them, you really can't stop. But I hope today you have some inspiration. It's a marathon, but by and by, slow and low, we're going to get to the finish line. We'll get there. Good things come from a marathon. You just need a strategy. And one strategy is to keep your mind occupied. Keep your mind occupied in the kitchen to keep your stomach occupied. Why not? Or in the garden. I've tried to introduce a few things today. And I always welcome messages from you. I'd love to help coach you through this. So please, take care. Ciao. Ci vediamo a presto. And I love you all. I love you all. And we'll be in touch. Ciao.